Alright, in this video we're going to start looking at some examples of solving trigonometric equations by factoring. And we're just going to find the solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi for these. So uh, let's look at 2 sine squared equals 1 plus cosine x here first. So, um, you know, initially if I see something like this, uh, you know, I see sines and cosines. I don't really see, you know, much to factor. But we can certainly use our trig identity. So recall that sine squared plus cosine cosine squared equals 1. So if we solve for sine squared, we would get 1 minus cosine squared x. So I'm just going to basically try to turn this problem into, I just want everything to involve cosines, is all I'm doing. So I'm going to distribute the 2. So 2 times 1 will be 2. We'll get negative 2 cosine squared x equals 1 plus cosine x. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add the 2 cosine squared to the right side. We've already got our positive cosine x. I'm also going to subtract 2 from both sides. So 1 minus 2 would simply give us negative 1. And then we'll be left with 0 um, on the left side. And now hopefully um, the right side factors without too much trouble. So. So I think if we use 2 cosine x and cosine x, that's certainly going to give us our 2 cosine squared x. Um, to get a negative 1, I know I've got to use uh, a positive 1 and a negative 1. Um, I think the positive would have to go uh, with our second factor, since uh, when we multiply it out, we'll get 2 cosine squared plus 2 cosine x minus cosine x. That would give us a positive cosine x. And then we've got negative 1 left over. So now, once we have it factored, we just set each, uh, each factor equal to 0. Well, here I can add 1 and divide by 2, and then we'll be left simply with cosine x. Um, if we set our second factor, cosine x plus 1 equal to 0, we'll simply get cosine x equals negative 1. And now I have to remember um, where cosine x equals 1 half, Let's see, cosine x equals 1 half, I believe, at pi over 3. That would be one of our solutions. And also in quadrant 4, cosine x would be 1 half. And that would be at the angle 5 pi over 3. Where does cosine x equal negative 1? Well, I believe cosine x equals negative 1 at the angle of pi. So those would be our solutions for uh, the first equation. We've now found all solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi.